Hello friends and family and good morning from Universal Studio City Walk. I am so excited to be here. Like the holiday season is just about in full effect here at Universal and over at the Disney parks. I figure what better way to spend my morning here at City Walk. We'll go over to the main Universal store and check out all the Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise. There's a lot of brand new uh, Christmas merchandise that was also recently released for Harry Potter. So they have a whole assortment of new things going on there and then I think in the same store they do have all the Grinchmas merchandise set up as well so it'll be really cool to check out some of that but before we get started if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it But seriously guys, holy cow, look at the view here that we're dealing with at Universal City Walk. They don't have the globe spinning here at the moment, but it's kind of stationary. You can get a really great picture, and then there's the archway to Universal Studios Florida. And right now it is about 8 a.m. so the parks are just about opening up here. So I do want to point out all the different boats and whatnot that keep uh, coming back and forth in the lagoon area, bringing the guests from the resorts here to Universal City Walk. But it is such a beautiful morning. Before we head in though and do some shopping, I do want to mention if there's any merchandise in today's video that you are interested in, definitely check out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video where we also offer Disney and Universal shopping for the prices the items are in the parks and the outlets. And it does look like it's a really good time to visit City Walk and Universal Studios. Being it's just opening right now, it doesn't look too busy this morning. This is definitely the store I want to spend my morning in, the main Universal Studios store here on City Walk. I do want to mention, like, you don't need a park ticket or anything like that to come here at City Walk and do any shopping. You would just have to pay to park if you come a little bit early. It looks like they do have some scaffolding up in front. But look at this, it is decorated Christmas at Hogwarts. They have Hedwig there, a Christmas wreath, and a bunch of assorted brand new Christmas offerings here for the Wizarding World. And I love that they're putting some poinsettia out. Okay, holy cow, so as soon as you come inside the store, everything is decorated for the holiday season. I love the blue and the uh, gold. That looks really nice together. But the purpose of today's video, we're going to head way back here and check out all the Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise. They have a great selection. So you don't have to deal with the huge crowds and the small stores over in like Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. I think I do want to dive right into a lot of the holiday merchandise because I'm so excited to see all of this. This is a pullover uh, sweatshirt. It says uh, Christmas at Hogwarts, that same design there with Hedwig. You have a nice Christmas wreath. It even says nine and three quarters with Hogwarts Castle, a bunch of little H's at the bottom. These are $70 a piece. And then over here is a brand new Christmas scarf that they have. It's embroidered there with the Hogwarts house crest. Look at the different color frillies. Has that same design though, $40 for that guy. Here is the matching gloves to this collection. These are really soft, $22. And then do have a beanie here with that same design with the Hogwarts house crest. And look at the little ball on the top. These are $30. And then right underneath there, looks like they do have a couple assorted candles for this holiday season. This is Frosted Pine Scented Candle for Christmas at Hogwarts. Let's see here, $28. These are bigger, I think, than the Halloween Horror Nights ones. Oh boy, yeah, that definitely has a nice little pine scent. I love the packaging as well, like those are really cool. Then underneath there, they do have another offering. This one, let's pull one of these puppies out. See what we can do here, there we go. Again, Christmas at Hogwarts. This is gingerbread scented candle. Let's see what we got going here. Oh yeah, that definitely gives a good uh, gingerbread scent. That one is really nice. Then over here, they have an orange scented one. 
It looks like they even have some uh, Christmas cards here for Hogwarts. Christmas at Hogwarts with that same design there. Like you're walking up to Hogwarts Castle over in uh, Hogsmeade. You have the uh, snowman. And they do say Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the opposite side. Six dollars a piece. They have Happy Christmas there with Hedwig. And then over here is another Christmas at Hogwarts sign. I like them how they have them vertical though and horizontal. All six dollars a piece. Then right underneath there, like they are seriously stocked up for the holiday season. Let's see what we have doing. They have some uh, washi tape sets. You get Christmas at Hogwarts and then Happy Christmas. $12 a piece there. And then over here are some name tags. Oh, these are cool. These are really, really nice. I like all the different offerings you get on there. $8. I did also want to point out right underneath they do have a kids version of that pullover long sleeve. It says Happy Christmas with Hedwig. It's a little bit different than the adult size one but lots of snowflakes going on here. That is $60. Then right up ahead, look at this though. I like how it says Happy Christmas and I like how Hedwig is basically on everything. A bunch of Christmas presents. Hedwig is up there. This pillow is really soft. They are $35 a piece. And they do have some brand new Christmas ornaments for this year. Look at this, like jingle bells. It says Hogwarts on the wreath. You have nine and three quarters. They do say Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the backside, $19. I do want to check out all of them though because here's a really cool snow globe one. It says Christmas at Hogwarts. It's literally filled with snow on the inside. $22 there. Right next door they do have like a plasticky Hedwig one. Looks like he has a couple different presents there that he's carrying. $25. That's really unique though. Now right underneath let's see what we have doing. These are wooden Christmas ornaments. Again Happy Christmas with Hedwig. And then you have Christmas at Hogwarts. I like this one a lot though with the uh, castle. Let's see how much these guys are. Okay, so they do not have a price. Those are really nice though. And then here's yet another one. This one does spin. You get two different designs there on either side. Christmas at Hogwarts, $24. And then right underneath all the Christmas ornaments, they do have the woven throw blankets for Christmas at Hogwarts. It's like that same design as the ornaments. These are so soft and thin, $85 a piece. But you can see like the gates there of Hogwarts Castle. These are really soft. And then over here is a perfect teddy bear for the holiday season. Look at him there, he's wearing the uh, hairy Christmas sweater. And then it's even embroidered Harry Potter on his little uh, footsie. These are $40, I love these though. Yet even more brand new offerings for the holiday season. Look at this serving tray, a very heavy ceramic. Happy Christmas with the Hogwarts castle and some presents. Oh boy, this is very heavy. It has handles on either side. These are $35 a piece. And then right next door they have a pack of four different ceramic dishes. I like how they have everything on display here though. Like seriously, look at this. Like the different drinkware. They have the uh, snowman like you see over in... <laughs> over in... Uh, Hogs made and then even more candles. Let's see what we have doing with these sets though. Here's a closer look at the four different dishes you get part of this collection. Let's turn this guy around. $55 for that. And it looks like they do have a couple different size candles. Like this one, if you look, it looks like a little bit bigger. $28. And speaking of the snowman over there in Hogsmeade Village, they do have them for sale as well. Look at that, great quality, wearing a Gryffindor scarf. $22, that's actually a really large size plushie. That's a really cool offering here. I do want to show you guys some of the Christmas ornaments though. These are amazing quality. Look at this, all the different like tassels at the other side. They do all say Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the back side. These are $19 a piece they have, let's see here. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. It does look like they're sold out of Slytherin, but they even have one with Hogwarts Castle. It almost looks like a snow globe. That one is really cool. Then over here they have all the different uh, house ties. They're actually on little hangers to hang them on your Christmas tree. These are $17 a piece, but they have all four houses. Over here, this is like a, a dome shaped one. Okay, so you have your Hogwarts house crest on one side, and then you can see all the boats with the students going up to the castle. $25 there. The, uh, the Christmas ornaments are very fancy and ornate though. They have the sorting hat. I like how fancy like the uh, top is to attach it to your tree. $25. 
Over here we have three broomsticks, like the restaurant. Look at the little dangly lantern in the center with the three broomsticks. $19. They do have a hogshead one. This is actually wood and it's like on a little chain there. The backside says uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. That is really neat. And they even have a butterbeer one. It's very sparkly on the top. These are $30 a piece, but I like that. I love that they're piping like a Wizarding World of Harry Potter music throughout here. Let's see what we have doing. Okay, so this one does open up. It's a metal one for the uh, Marauders map. When you open it up, you can see all the footprints. This is way cool, $22. And speaking of butterbeer, you can even purchase the butterbeer cart, like exact replica of the one over in Hogsmeade. These are $25 a piece. It says butterbeer on the other side. Then you have the huge barrel, like it even has the wheels. Very nice attention to detail there. And here's a really heavy one of a uh, Hogwarts castle. This one's like a heavy metal, no pun intended. But look at the uh, clip here. You have a clip that attaches to it, $30. Some of these are really like unique though. They have the monster book of monsters hanging out at the bottom. It literally has the insignia there. You can see the teeth and the tongue, $25. And then here's the acceptance letter into Hogwarts. It has the wax seal. Then the uh, front side says Mr. H. Potter, just like in the movies, $17. I did also want to point out, they have some really nice Christmas stockings. Like everything is amazing, great quality. They're like knitted ones. They have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff. These are all $35 a piece, but they have all four houses in stock. This is such a really good deal. The adult crew fleeces are now $29.95. The original price is $70. That is seriously some deal. These are great quality. Again, pullover sweatshirts. It's embroidered Hufflepuff here on the uh, chest. And it says Hufflepuff going down the side. But they do have all different houses for this uh, deal of $30. Here's the Ravenclaw one. It also says Ravenclaw going down the sleeve. But they do have, let's see here, Slytherin and then Gryffindor. Like, I'm really surprised that these are on sale for that price. And the great thing about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, they also sell spirit jerseys. This is a patch that's on the front with the Gryffindor house crest. You have some embroidered pinstriping. These again are $70 a piece, but check out the backside. It's embroidered Gryffindor. This is like a very thin uh, spirit jersey material. They do have all four houses here. The other side is your Ravenclaw. Again, the backside is embroidered there. And then you have your Hufflepuff and Slytherin. I do want to give them a little peek and a shout out. The uh, front side is your Slytherin. Again, with that same um, embroidered pinstriping, $70 a piece. And here's the uh, Hufflepuff. They even have some brand new Wizarding World of Harry Potter pajama sets. Like these are a full button down short sleeve on the pocket. It has the Hogwarts house crest. And then you do also get the matching shorts, but you have all of the house like uh, animals there. You even have like the badger, Gryffindor. You have, let's see here, the uh, Ravenclaw Raven, but even the uh, golden snitches on there, the sorting hat, the bludgers. These are $60 a piece. These are really, really nice. And then over here on the front side, they do have like the matching long pants in case you wanted them to match the set. These are sold separately with the Hogwarts house crest, $40. And here's the women's tank top that they have. These are really shiny though. Like the uh, metallic gold looks really cool. Very soft material for 37. And here's a very random price for a snow globe. These are $48.95 a piece. They do say Wizarding World of Harry Potter at the bottom. But how cool is this for the holiday season? You can see snow falling on Hogwarts Castle. I love this. That's a really unique item. Then they do have a lot of brand new Dark Mark merchandise. Let's see what we have doing. This is a notebook I haven't seen before. This one is leather bound with the uh, Dark Mark symbol. $25 for that and they do also have a lot of different like Noble Collection merchandise. This is a uh, Tom Riddle's diary. Again, these are Noble Collection comes in the original packaging with the uh, gold accents like the metallic ones $42.95 and here's the adult size dark mark uh, pullover sweatshirt that they have like everything is embroidered on here. The best of quality at the Wizarding World $65. And here's a really nice plastic cup for the holiday season with the uh, dark mark symbol with the uh, slithering colors. The backside does say Wizarding World of Harry Potter. These are $12 a piece, but really, really nice quality. And then over here is a coffee mug. I do want to see what we have doing. 
Okay, okay, so this is an Albus Dumbledore quote. We must all uh, face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Albus Dumbledore, it has that insignia on both sides. $21 a piece for them. That's a really large size cup. And how about this one? This is also brand new. This is long sleeve and extremely soft. It says always underneath the tree. $37. Then of course you have your classic, have you seen this wizard with Sirius Black with his Azkaban picture? I love these. $29.95. But there's a great assortment of merchandise dedicated to just basically like the Hogwarts house crest. This is another V-neck t-shirt with the embroidered pinstriping. You have the Hogwarts house crest here with all the houses. These are $40 a piece. The right next door is like a unisex t-shirt with a huge graphic there of the Hogwarts house crest. This one's $30, so a little bit cheaper. And here's some more of those Noble Collection items I want to show you. These are nice uh, house crest wall arts, but these are very, very heavy. There's what all of them do look like on the back. They have all four houses. Then the Hogwarts one. It looks like they do have Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. They also do have a couple other items here kind of tucked away. This is another Christmas ornament, a very heavy glass one. It says the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Universal Studios, but Hogwarts Castle is in the inside. $34 for them. I like the gold accents though, very fancy. And then over here is a 4x6 photo frame. This is a nice wooden one and you have like a pewter. Uh, Hogwarts Castle on the back side. It's really nice though because these do come with the original boxes. Then right underneath there, they have the kids' version of that graphic t-shirt with the Hogwarts house crest, $25. That's a pretty good deal. Like, these are really soft. And I do want to show you the uh, full zip hoodie that they have. Let's see what we got doing. $69.95. This is just the gray color on the back side, but this is just plain and simple, just representing Hogwarts. Let's also check out the spinny rack here. I don't spend too much time at the spinny racks in the wizarding world. So let's see what we have doing. Here's a nice Gryffindor pair of earrings. They have two like little uh, jewels. $20 for them. Then over here, let's see what we have. Okay, so this is a pack of three different earring sets for Gryffindor. $30 for three earrings. That's not too shabby, but it looks like they do have like the same difference in uh, all of the different houses. They have Slytherin in the both sets. They have Ravenclaw right underneath, and then you have Hufflepuff. Also with these jewelry sets for the earrings, you can purchase the uh, matching necklaces here. This is the one with the Gryffindor charm at the bottom. You have the house crest, but even more attention to detail, like it says Brave. They do have these in all the houses. They're $33 a piece. You have your Gryffindor right over here, Slytherin. I love the writing. I like these whole sets though. Like These are nice little Christmas presents as well. You have Ravenclaw and then Hufflepuff. And there's even one that says Alohomora, just like in the uh, movies. But look at this, you have a wand there with a Hermione Granger, and then you have the floating key. This is a really great idea. A few other Hogwarts house crest related items is another coffee mug. This has a nice uh, finish on there. It's really smooth. It says Hogwarts alumni with that 3D effect on both sides. Then Wizarding World on the bottom. These are $21. And how about this? coaster that they have. Holy cow, that is very, very heavy. It's like solid rock with Hogwarts alumni. All of this matches the same collection. $12. It has the nice cork on the bottom. And they do have a brand new notebook here with the uh, Hogwarts house crest. Let's see what we have doing. Hogwarts alumni. These are really heavy. $24. Let's see what we got doing right underneath though. We have Hogwarts alumni, again, the embroidered pinstriping. I like how they put all the different houses in there. $37 for that. And it even has a little patch here that's embroidered at the bottom with the house crest. And here's the full zip hoodie that they have. Look at inside of the hood. This is so cool. It says alumni and then Hogwarts. Then you have the uh, Hogwarts house crest on the front. These don't have the price on them, but look at the pinstriping with all of the different houses. Here at this store, I always love how they have everything kind of like sectioned off for uh, Quidditch. Like, look at this. You can get like your house robes, your Quidditch gear over there. But every section is dedicated to a specific house. Up here, you have your house robe backpack, they're calling this. Look at the glittery tie. You have Hufflepuff, $88 for them. A really nice size for the parks. Then, of course, you can purchase your Wizarding World of Harry Potter robes. It's embroidered Hufflepuff on the front. You have that nice 
Chinese classic Hufflepuff color. The great thing about these though, you have a little pocket on the inside to put your wand in. So if you're walking around the parks, you can put your wand right there. These are the best of quality though. 139 and here's a bunch of winter gear. Like they have the Hufflepuff gloves, $22. The Hufflepuff beanies, let's see here, $30. And how about the scarf? It has a huge graphic of the badger embroidered at the bottom and it says Hufflepuff. I do want to show you all of the different houses though. They do have the house robe backpacks, again $88. And here's the same difference with the uh, beanies, the scarves, and the gloves. This is the Ravenclaw versions. But they do have yet another version of uh, the scarves. This is like your classic one with just the, uh, the blue color and then the nice little design there with the gray really pops. These are $40. And then underneath there they do have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter ties just like in the movie. How cool is that though? Like these are nice with that pattern. And they do also have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter headbands. These are $20 a piece. You gotta support Ravenclaw. It says Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the inside. Take a quick little peek, see at a Gryffindor and then Slytherin. You have your house backpacks again. Over here are all your different winter accessories from your gloves, your different scarves, your beanie. But they do have the same difference with those nice, like a quilted almost uh, pattern here of the scarves. They have the Right over here, they have more of the neckties and then the headbands. And here's your Slytherin robes. Again, $139, but it has that nice green color on the hood and the inside. And then right next door is all of your Gryffindor merchandise with your uh, house robe backpacks, all of your winter gear, and your scarves, your neckties. They have everything here. Like, they are stocked up in the Wizarding World. Let's check out some of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Quidditch gear. They have some huge tote bags. You have patience, dedication, and loyalty. Of course, being Hufflepuff, this is a nice large size bag to take down to the pool or the parks as a huge oversized strap. $45 and they do have like the matching t-shirt with patience, dedication, and loyalty. You even have the Helga Hufflepuff cup at the bottom. 20 or $37, okay, $37 for them. And here's like a stainless steel huge cup that they have with all of the uh, silver accents. You even got the golden snitch on there. They say Wizarding World at the bottom, $27. And then right underneath they have a cool banner. Very nice quality, again, this is a huge embroidered patch with the Hufflepuff cup at the bottom. Let's see how much this guy is, $27. And in this section, they do have the Gryffindor merchandise that says Courage, Determination, and Bravery. Again, $37 for the adult-sized t-shirts. They have that same tote bag to wear to the parks or down to the pool. Really nice large size there, $45 for them. But they do have that same uh, stainless steel cup for $27 with the Gryffindor house crest with the golden snitch. But it looks like they do have some other drinkware that they don't have over in the Hufflepuff. Look at this one, it has a clear lid, a nice little silicone ring to hold it with, but I like the metallic badge on the front there with Gryffindor, $32 for that one. And then right over here, they do have the matching coffee mug, but look at the inside, it says Gryffindor with a lion, and then the Gryffindor like 3D effect on the front, $20. They also have a press penny machine here, a dollar for one or all eight. Let's see here, touch screen to begin, no penny, no worry. Okay, so let's go with that one. Okay, so they're a dollar for one or take all eight. Let's see here. Well, I want to show you all the different offerings that they have. They, they all say Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You have the Deathly Hollows, the Sorting Hat, Dobby, nine and three quarters, uh, Harry's glasses, and then the Hogwarts house crest. And they do even have like Harry's wand. So some really cool offerings. That is a great take home for such a reasonable price. Then right next door to that, they do have all of the uh, Ravenclaw Quidditch merchandise, wisdom, learning, and then wit at the bottom with Marina Wa Ravenclaw's diadem, $37. There's that tote bag that they have for all the different houses. But it's really cool, like the drinkware here is really nice quality. And here's a lot of the Keeper merchandise, like you have Ravenclaw Keeper, that's all embroidered, like the pinstripings embroidered on the sleeves. And then you do get a little Quidditch patch here, it says Hogwarts Quidditch. Let's check the old price of Rooney, $40 a piece, but there's your Ravenclaw. Right next door, they also have Hufflepuff. It looks like they do have just about everything though, in every size. Lots of good offerings for the holiday season. Here's your Gryffindor one. Again, you have the lion at the bottom, and then Slytherin Keeper with the uh, snake at the bottom. The colors are nice and bold though. 
Then right up ahead is a huge like Stein cup with your Gryffindor house crest. How nice is the quality? It even says Gryffindor on either side. $30. Then here's the matching baseball caps that they have for each house. It's embroidered Gryffindor Keeper. Even the lion's embroidered on the other side. Let's see what we got doing here. $27. There's even a nice little section dedicated just to like the Hogwarts Express and then the ticket. Platform nine and three quarters. This is a nice little tray with gold accents. It says London to Hogwarts and then Wizarding World on the backside. $24 there. And then over here, let's see what we have doing. These are $28. Okay, so it's embroidered number 257. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so you could put like your room ticket in there, all of your tickets for the parks and credit cards. That's a cool little offering with the Hogwarts Express on the front. Then over here, we have a, a little pouch. Nice little wristlet. You have the uh, faux leather wristlet strap. These are $20 a piece, but you have the uh, London to Hogwarts ticket there. And it has a nice little zipper compartment. This is a great offering for the parks then underneath there they do have the uh, London to Hogwarts backpack again everything is gold on here lots of faux leather accents these aren't like lounge fly or anything but still nice quality $65 and you could even purchase your like replica ticket let's see what we have going on here for only one-way travel London to Hogwarts then the other side is your Hogwarts to London these are $10.95 for $98, they also have these faux leather like quilted backpacks. You have the embroidered snake there for Slytherin and it's embroidered Slytherin at the bottom. These are actual uh, Harry Potter, Danielle, and Nicole backpacks. It has a nice little handle. These have a great feel to them though. You have Gryffindor right next door. I like the bright colors though. These seem like really good quality. Underneath there you have uh, Ravenclaw and then Hufflepuff. So they do have all different versions for the houses in stock. And how about the fanny packs that they have? These are also Danielle Nicole. I want to try to find one here with a price tag. It looks like they did take them all off, but they have Gryffindor and Slytherin. Here's even more of your Hogwarts Express and then Platform 9 and 3 quarters merchandise. This is a matte black coffee mug. It says Hogwarts Railways. Then you have the Hogwarts House Crest on both sides. A great deal at $17. And then underneath there is your 9 and 3 quarters adult size t-shirt. It even says Platform 9 and 3 quarters on the sleeve Hogwarts Express. These shirts are $37 a piece, but they do even have the kids version. For $16.95, you can even take home your very own Hogwarts Express pullback eraser. Look at that, it's the Hogwarts Express pullback. That is so cool. Looks like you can also attach like different trains to the back end if you wanted to. But these are uh, $16.95. It says just pull it back and watch it go. And here's a really nice like burgundy color uh, throw pillow. It's all embroidered platform nine and three quarters. It does come with your Wizarding World of Harry Potter tag. These are $37 a piece. But look at the attention to detail. It says Hogwarts Railways on the opposite side. Everything is embroidered on both sides there. And here's a huge like metal uh, sign that just says platform nine and three quarters. I don't think you need anything more than that. This is just perfect for like an office or a Harry Potter room, $39. I always like to check out the assorted Noble Collection Harry Potter items that they have because they have just about everything. Look at the statue that they have of Dobby. He just pulled the sock out of the, uh, out of the book. That is crazy cool. $120. And then right over here they have a nice little cage with a headwig inside of it. You do get the entire like base, cage, and headwig. $85. They do have a Dobby bookend over here, $60. Like, look at his face that he's making. Looks like he's holding something back in that little crate. Then underneath, they do have a bunch of the different brooms from uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They come with the huge wooden collector's base and then the plaque. These are $65. You've got the Nimbus 2001, the Firebolt, and then the Nimbus 2000. But the really neat thing, they'll even have some merchandise signed by some of the cast from... Uh, Harry Potter franchise. You have Neville Longbottom, Matthew Lewis, signed 8x10. It comes with the COA. This is all framed, matted, and you get his wand there. $875 for that. Underneath there, they do have even more items from the Noble Collection. Like you have a replica of Hagrid's umbrella wand, $120. You could even purchase the Sword of Gryffindor here from the Wizarding World. Again, that comes mounted on this huge plaque. It says Harry Potter, and then Godric Gryffindor, $200. 
Let's see what else we have doing here. We have some Death Eater masks that also come mounted onto the wooden plank. You have Lucius Malfoy and then Bellatrix Lestrange. These masks have very nice attention to detail. You could also remove them from the uh, base, but they have the little name placards at the bottom. $110 each there. And they do have an exact replica of the Hogwarts Express. It comes on the uh, track there. It says Hogwarts Express and then Hogwarts Castle on the exact train. These are really, really heavy though. $160. Then let's see what else we have doing underneath. You have a little dagger. That's Bellatrix Lestrange's dagger. Just like in the movie, it comes in the little wooden box, $75. But it's really neat because they will ship some of these items. It says shipping $10. Over here you have the Marvolo Gaunt Ring. It comes in the box for $58. And they even have the Deathly Hollows necklace here for $58. It looks like they are getting a lot of the Noble Collection merchandise because they didn't have like all of these offerings here in the front store on City Walk. This is the huge castle. It comes with a wooden base that says Hogwarts. Then the castle itself is massive. $350 there. And how about the Marauder's Map wand collection that they have for the Wizarding World? You get the four wands and then the plaque there of the Marauder's Map. This doesn't open up or anything, but it's very heavy. $195. Right underneath they have Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. It again, very nice quality, all of the sparkly jewels. Yeah, look at the look at that. It says Ravenclaw on the inside. This whole box set is $165. And they do have the wizard's chest set. This isn't the cheaper version. This is the very heavy, more expensive version for $400. Let's also check out some of the assorted pin offerings that they have for the Wizarding World. These are very cheap in comparison to like Disney pins. They do come with the backing here, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You have Dobby and then he has a sock in his hand, but his hand actually does move up and down. These are $11 a piece. Then of course when Dobby has his sock, Dobby's a free elf, so they do have the Dobby is free pin. Again, he's holding his sock and looks very happy. $11 there. Let's see what else we got doing. Okay, we have Fluffy the three-headed dog. $9, like how do you go wrong? And they even have like a pewter pin that literally just says the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Universal Studios, $11. Let's see what else we got. We got the golden snitch, again with the gold there, and then you have the silver accents for the wings, $12. But I like how they did some of these because you have like Welcome to Diagon Alley, like Welcome to Hogsmeade, and then you have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. These are $14. But Universal does like a lot of multi-pin packs. Like this is the uh, Gryffindor one. It comes with five different pins. Like five pins is only $22. That is some really good savings. Then over here they have all the different houses. You have a Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. They have all the different sayings for each house. $10 a piece for them. I do want to try to find some really unique ones though. Let's see what else we can find on this rack. But it's really cool because these racks do spin. Okay, so the opposite side has some keychains. They have the Hogwarts ticket, London to Hogwarts on one side, and then it says Wizarding World of Harry Potter. $11 for that keychain. And then over here, they do have the Hogwarts house crest with all the different houses for $12. And here's one I don't think I've seen before with Hogwarts alumni. It has the little faux leather backing and then it's attached to it. $11. Here's a few really nice pins at the bottom though. I absolutely have to show you. Look at this. It's the chocolate frog box. You open it up and there's literally a chocolate frog that smells like chocolate on the inside. These are $15 a piece. Then you have the Weasley, Weasley Wizard Wheezes uh, pins. <laughs> it's like, kind of like a little tongue twister there, but you got that from over in a Diagon Alley, $9. Then of course you have your classic Nocturne Alley pins. Look at that with the uh, hand pointing, it says Nocturne Alley, $9. The great thing about coming to this store, you can purchase your wands, like your interactive ones, and then your non-interactive wands. They do sell all of that here. Then on display, they have these little spinny racks, like you can actually see the wand. And make sure you're getting the one that you want. Like they have Voldemort's, uh, Gellert Grindelwald's wand. So that's that one. Over here, you have Newt Scamander's wand, Theseus Scamander. 
they okay they have queenies in stock uh lito is strange let's see what else that we have going on here we have gregorovich's wand peter Pettigrew, yaxley bellatrix was strange one of my favorites and of course he who shall not be named but you can even purchase these really fancy wand stands as well. These are $35. These are a metal. They say Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Then you have the dark mark symbol on either side. This holds one wand, but that's $35. Then they still do have like that brass colored one that holds two wands. Again, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Same price though. So one holds one wand and then the other one holds two. They're both $35 each. And they do still have some of the limited edition wands. These are the interactive ones that they put out throughout the year. There's fall 2023 in the backside. They come in these really fancy collector's boxes and then you get the maps for like Diagon Alley and then Hogsmeade, it tells you where all the interactive wand spots are. Looks like they also have spring 2023. And then this one is back from 2022. So they do have a bunch of different offerings there. Let's see here, the collectible wands, the limited 2022 and 2023 are $75 each. You could even purchase a lot of your Wizarding World of Harry Potter candy in the main Universal store. Mix and match, they now have ch chocolate frogs and milk and dark chocolate. They do come with the wizard cards. These are three for $35 each, so they have a lot of chocolate frogs here at this store. I do want to point out, over here they have the tin version where it does come with the collector's tin with the uh, chocolate frog inside, but you do get five different wizard cards. These are $30 each. A nice little take home though, like a little memento rather than the cardboard box then underneath there they have like these little like uh trivet trays where you can put some jewelry in it's a nice uh, color there you have the chocolate frog and then the gold accents it does say chocolate frog right underneath these are 29 dollars but the chocolate frog has been getting lots and lots of loving here at universal lately they do have a little jewelry box here we'll call this it's a very heavy ceramic with your classic packaging and these are 24 dollars and 95 cents then how about the chocolate frog purse that they have it's a nice little crossbody the uh little medallion there of the chocolate frog itself but it even says milk chocolate shaped frog this is so cool yes. of course you can even get your birdie bots every flavored beans it actually looks like the packaging is much larger than the old box used to be correct me if i'm wrong though but this looks much wider 13 dollars of course you get every flavor bean inside there and they do have a bunch of birdie bots merchandise like the uh, christmas ornaments like the packaging as a little window with all the beans 25 dollars this is just like your metallic one this one's much thinner it says wizarding world of harry potter 15 dollars this is probably my favorite christmas ornament in this section though it's literally like the uh, entrance window of honey dukes you have some snow on the top then all the birdie bots beans 25 dollars and just like the uh, chocolate frog purse, they do have the Birdie Bots Every Flavored Bean Purse, another uh, crossbody bag with the metallic finish, $79 there. And they do have a Wizarding World of Harry Potter Honey Dukes Loungefly backpack. Look at the zipper pull, it's the Honey Dukes logo. Then all of the different Wizarding World of Harry Potter snacks. Then right underneath there, they do have this clear like wristlet uh, crossbody. It does come with a wristlet strap. It says Honey Dukes embroidered on the front. I feel like this is a great deal for only $40. Like check out the backside. It has your uh, Harry Potter lounge fly insignia. That's really, really nice. Then underneath there, they also have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter wallets, of course, with Honey Dukes. And then there's your uh, Harry Potter lounge fly. You have a nice little zipper compartment and then the embroidered chocolate frog. I want to see how much that guy is. $55. Let's check out some of the other Wizarding World of Harry Potter candies that they have. They have the Peppermint Mint Toads. Look at that. It's like a little toad window. And of course, you have all the dark chocolate peppermint toads on the inside. I think these were $11 my last visit. Right underneath there, they have the fudge flies. Chocolate flavored fudge flies in the shape of flies. How cool. The packaging on this is really something else. Like I always save the packaging after we're done trying the different snacks. You have your Fainting Fancies. These are orange and lemon fruit gummies. Let's see, $6.95. And then right next door you have the Exploding Bonbons. These come in this really cool like individually wrapped packaging. It says it's a real boom. Let's see, $9.95 for them. And one of my favorite snacks in the Wizarding World, always the Fizzing Wisbies. The packaging is impeccable. It says delicious snack, everybody's favorite. Look at that though. Made with uh, chocolatey fizzy fruits, it says. 
These are $11. You can even purchase some artificial sweetening here at the Wizarding World. The Luna Love Goods Love Potion. It comes with the little frillies here, the tassel. It says Love Potion. These are $9.95. Like, I have one of these. I just put it on display at the house. Then right next door, you have Felix Felices. It comes in a little vial, just like in the movies. It says Liquid Sweets. Again, these are just an artificial sweetener, but the packaging is amazing, $11. And they even have some Honey Dukes branded saltwater taffy that comes in the box for $9. Here's even some really cool socks for the holiday season. They have Hogwarts, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff. You get one pair, $14.95 a piece. These are, these are like the uh, high top socks, very, very heavy quality. And they do have the throw pillows for Wizarding World of Harry Potter. These are $37. Again, the quality is there though, like the checkered pattern, the Slytherin snake is embroidered, and then it even says Slytherin with a bunch of uh, Slytherin uh, snakes all over the place, but they do have all the different houses. And like I was saying, Grinchmas is here. And I want to show you some of the merchandise that they have. I know this is a Harry Potter video, but the Grinchmas merchandise is out and we have to check it out. Look at this. It says, ho, ho, no, you got the Grinch. Lots of sparkly red writing. This nightgown is $37. And how about the plushie of the Grinch? This is incredible. I love this. Oh my word, this is everything. You get the whole like pajama set on the Grinch, $25. And this plushie is ginormous. Here's some brand new drinkware as well. Well, here you got the Grinch. Looks like he's taking all the Christmas ornaments. It says naughty. Then the other side says nice. I like the whole stripe pattern. $21 for them. And they do have some winter gear. It says uh, misunderstood. That's all embroidered with the Grinch on the beanie. Taking all the ornaments. $25. And then right underneath is the glove set. These are $22 a piece. It's embroidered naughty and you have the Grinch. Let's check out the Christmas ornament that they have here as well. This is a little wooden one. It says, Merry Grinchmas Universal Studios. I love how it's the Grinch's hand and he's holding the ornament. That is really cool. And then underneath here we have the Grinch, Dr. Seuss. This is a nice three quarters length sleeve shirt. The Grinch is embroidered on the front. Let's see here, $37 for that. And then on the other side of the rack, they do have even more like Grinchmas merchandise. Look at this Christmas ornament, naughty or nice. And it says naughty or nice on the other side with the Grinch, $18.95. I had such a great time today hanging out here at Universal Studios City Walk, checking out all of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise. It is incredible. All of the amount of Christmas merchandise. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. They have a great assortment of brand new Christmas merchandise and just a bunch of new items are around. The great thing about coming here to City Walk though, like you don't have a you don't need a park ticket. So if you're just coming here to do some shopping and enjoy the restaurants of Universal City Walk. You don't need a park ticket to come and do any of that. You can do your shopping and eat all you want here at City Walk. Just a great morning to be here. If you'd like to further support the channel or you're interested in the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.